Wow, my boy is saying you're lahat. Come on, Sergio. So today I'm gonna look at two different videos, all in one, and I'm gonna give my reaction. The two videos today we're gonna look at are showing the new Philippines. Now, what it's gonna look like? It's gonna be so amazing here in the future. One video we're gonna look at today is called the Nautilus Eco Resort, and the other one is the Dolphin Island. So why don't we jump in and see the future of the Philippines? This is the Nautilus Eco wow. Resort, and it will save the Philippine Sea from dying. That looks so amazing. It's just like a seashell, the, the inside of a shell, right? Unbelievable. This project is the first of its kind, okay. as it promises zero emissions, zero waste, and zero poverty. God, the Eco eh? Resort's two main architectural entities will be a series of shell-shaped hotels. I cannot believe how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, I really hope this is gonna come true, huh? And rotating apartment towers which are organized in a spiral around a central island wow. and will host the nautical center and the scientific research laboratories. The, look, huh? the shell-shaped hotels and rotating wow. apartments wind up along two golden spirals, respecting the Fibonacci okay. sequence, which is a perfect symbol for balance and harmony. The facades and roofs combine plant walls and photovoltaic cells. Oh, I think this is a really good idea because we need to use renewable energy and take care of our environment, especially nowadays. So. Anything they can do to reuse or recycle, I think it's great. This project just looks mind-blowing, my god, I don't know what to say, it's just unbelievable beautiful. To increase the building's thermal inertia, optimize natural okay. cooling, and generate electricity. Okay. The rainwater will be reused, uh, while you're... rainwater will be biologically recycled in waste stabilization ponds bordering the gardens. God, there eh? will be 12 small museum hotels in the form of a sea snail that seem to emerge out of the water to the east. 12 small spiral towers of varying heights, containing apartments that rotate to follow the course of the sun. Wow, I am just blown away by how beautiful this project is and I really hope that it's gonna launch. I really hope they're gonna do it. I haven't seen any news for a few months about this project, but I really sincerely hope that they're gonna put it. It's, it's so beautiful and it's so amazing, you know? I've never seen anything like this anywhere in the world. The design is a response to the current environmental state of the country. Okay. Overfishing, mass yeah. tourism, yeah. pollution of plastic waste, yeah. and toxic products. Plus climate change, which present real threats to the health of the Philippine archipelago oh and the survival of its inhabitants. <laughs> it's so cute. Corals are dying. Mangrove yes. areas are being destroyed. That's true. Seagrass beds are suffocated by erosion. And vital populations of fish and other marine species are declining dangerously. The structures themselves are based on biomimicry, with forms inspired by the shapes and structures of various ecosystems. The project would be completely built from reused materials. Wow. Wow, I like what they're doing here. It's, they're gonna use recycled materials, they're gonna be sustainable, you know, they, they, they want to help to save the environment, especially with the climate change, Nayon. So this is a project that I would love to buy a place in a condominium or if, if they're for sale or even go on a trip there. They said there were gonna be hotels, right? With museums, oh my gosh, it sounds so good. I don't know where this is gonna be, but um, if you know, can you please leave me a comment below? I really wanna know, number one, when is this gonna be finished? Number two, where is it gonna be, all right? And then, um, yeah, let's see what else is gonna happen to this place. And would be entirely self-sufficient self in terms of both energy and okay. food. Nice. By minimizing its ecological footprint, the experience is centered on the preservation of nature and local urban ecology, while right. respecting endemic ecosystems <laughs> and agro-ecosystems. The wow. eco-resort will also contribute to the well-being of local communities by including them in its planning, development, and operation, okay. and directly support local economic development in the oh, form of good. jobs and income. Yeah, Plus, course. encourage respect for the archipelago's different cultures. Well, I can imagine a big project like this is really going to uh, need a lot of uh, people to work there, right? In the restaurants and the hotels and whatever, you know. Of course, in the construction itself, you already need probably thousands of people, no? So this would be good for the local economy wherever it's going to be. The project will generate funds through crowdfunding. For the site's conservation, Ooh, with the okay. Association of Preservation of Fauna and Flora. Oh, really? It is above all a project made to exchange and transmit ecological gestures between the natives and the newcomers. Mm. It will ask volunteer ecotourists to clean washed up plastic waste from beaches, wow. follow recycling schemes, protect That's... coral crops, and restore reasonable fishing. That's nice. This will allow nature to regenerate and also help strengthen natural protection against flooding. Of course. The eco resort is purely a concept at present, but oh. it makes us look forward to a better and brighter future. 
So it's just only a concept done to now. So I wonder who they're going to pitch this to. I mean, are they trying to sell it to the big guys like SMDC or somebody like that? Ayala, maybe? Calabout, the one who designed Calabout. this project, has a collaborative concept focused on using real-world education okay. to spread the idea of responsible ecotourism. Or in his words, a voluntary approach to reimbursing ecological debt. Mm. What can you say about the Nautilus Eco Resort in the Philippines? Is it the answer to the current environmental state of the country? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching. Well, I think definitely if they're going to put up this Nautilus, I think this is going to be an amazing project. I think it's definitely going to help with the environment. And it's not only about that little place where it's going to help. It's, it's about ingraining into the people the mentality of taking care of the environment. Now, let's go to the next project, which I understand is in Cebu. And it's called Dolphin Island. And I do think that this one is actually 100% being built. This is Cordova's Dolphin Island, wow. an impressive reclamation project that is acknowledged as the crown jewel of Metro Cebu. Okay, so that's going to be Metro Cebu. It's called the Dolphin Island. Well, it does look like a dolphin, right? So that's at Cordova, huh? Unbelievable. Look at the shape. I wonder how far they are in this project. Because if they're going to build it on reclaimed uh, land, it might take a while to actually get it moving. And then they have to build on it as well. You know, they have to let the, the sand be there for a while or the earth, no? So it, it, it's probably something that's going to take quite a few years, unfortunately. I hope we're going to see this soon, though. This massive infrastructure plan will handle a land size of over 1,500 hectares and is wow. revealed to provide a world-class and luxurious lifestyle experience. God, Something yeah. that ought to bring in more rich travelers from other countries and into the Philippines. Also renowned as the Sentoso of Cebu, it is expected to become the next best destination in the Philippines. I could it will have a mix of several developments within it, okay. mixed-use areas, commercial zones, and residential communities. And this will open its doors in the year 2028. Well, if it's going to open in 2028, that's only seven years from now. I mean, the project must already be well underway right now, huh? Because that's not very far from now, no? All right, that's great. I'm looking really forward to seeing this. 2028, Cebu, here I come. To go into details, okay. the construction would be composed of four artificial islands, All where right. each would have unique facilities within them. Okay. These amenities include a cruise terminal, marina, beach, parks, golf courses, cultural centers, and so on. Mm. This will definitely be something that is positioning itself, as the Philippines is expected to grow economically yeah. and will soon have to cater to the growing rich lifestyle of local people. Of course. The architectural firm undertaking this for this is a company called Massa Group Properties, a quite unknown enterprise, as it is relatively new. Okay. On their list of properties, they have proposed several other constructions as well, oh, mostly really? located in the city of Cebu. Okay. They would be joined with SM Pro. Oh, that's Harley! Oi, Harley! Musaka! I haven't seen you in such a long time. Of course, Hali is the youngest child of uh, Henry C. Sr. Bunso Yone. Oh, I really like this guy. This is one of my favorite people in the Philippines. I'm Holdings, which is one of the largest corporations in the country. Yes. And through them, it is when they announced back in July 2020 that they would proceed with this project. Okay. In the same announcement, where they met with Cordova's mayor, Mary Therese Cite Cho, said that this is the little Singapore of the Philippines. I'm happy. Sentosa SM is through its commitment, is also complying with environmental standards, as the developments of Dolphin Island will have a beautiful green architecture blend into it. Okay. This applies to transportation, sustainable energy, and wow. most important is the fact that the materials that would be used in the construction would come from local and natural elements. So here we go again. It's all about being uh, sustainable and doing something about the environment and the climate right now, and especially the local uh, products which they can use in this development. I think that's a great way to go now with all this construction we have going on. The only thing that would be a problem is that a reclamation project just like others would damage the environment of Cordova and its surrounding cities. We can well, expect that several marine life and mangrove areas would disappear okay. as this construction finishes. However, according to several entities, this would be a better change, as the island of where it lies on is experiencing strong economic growth. Okay, so, yeah, we might be losing some, but we might also be gaining some. I mean, it depends on how they do the project, and I'm pretty sure there's got to be things like uh, DNR is going to be involved to, to say whether this is right or wrong, and how they can actually protect the environment or even make it better. And is forecast to grow further into the latter years, and therefore this would be something that would be needed to cater to the growing population and economy of the city. Yes. The exact location will be near the Ten Thousand Roses Cafe. Wow, look at and that! The look at that! That's an amazing bridge. 
so the it, it will be where can we just go back there and see again he said it's gonna be near to where cater to the growing population and economy of the city the exact location will be near the 10,000 Roses Cafe and the upcoming third Roses Cebu Cafe. Mactan Bridge. Okay, An expected yeah, outcome okay. is they would want to be near where a sizable number of people are going through. Yes, of course, of course. Wow, that's a mega project, huh? And this is well underway already, huh? So this is really exciting, huh? So near to the bridge and the the uh, the cafe he was talking about, I haven't visited that. So uh, if anybody knows about this cafe, does it still exist? Is it good? Should I visit when I come back to Cebu? The project is estimated to start at the year 2022 or 2023, okay. so but next things year. can still change yeah, as course. there are further consultations needed right. from its environmental impact, social impact to the families of surrounding barangays, and of course the jobs that would die out in the fishing industry and might as well other jobs that may also be damaged from its construction. Hmm. Anyway, what do you think about the Sentosa of Cebu? Is it worth constructing a massive reclamation project? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Well, if we go for the last one first, the Sentosa Island, which is supposed to start in 2022 or 2023, it's a massive project. The good thing about it is the SMDC seems to be involved with my friend, Harley C, how are you? So I think that would be great. Yeah, they said that you might be losing some uh, jobs in the fishing industry and whatever. But on the other hand, you're also going to create a lot of other kind of jobs, like in the hotels, in the restaurants, in the service industry. So a lot of other jobs are going to be created, no? And I think the fishermen, they can probably just move to another harbor. I mean, it's not like they're going to disappear now because you can go fishing all around anyhow. Uh, so for the first project, it's only on a planning stage. They haven't actually decided to do it. Kaso sana 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 kasi ganda talaga, no? No wonder they are saying that Philippines is up and coming. We're going to be one of the biggest economies in the future. And if this is what we are going to see in the future in the Philippines, this is going to be amazing. We're going to get so many tourists coming to the Philippines. And not only that, the life quality of Filipinos is really going to improve. All right. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Trending Me Andres. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.